Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I was feeling a little bit sassy the other day and I was messing around with some stuff in Adorian. I came up with a couple of arpeggios that would be nice and delightful for you guys doing a bit of weird, jazzy stuff. So let's take a look at the lick. Okay, so as I said before, I was just sort of messing around in Dorian and fiddling with some arpeggios and a couple of cool things came up. So one thing I sort of want to keep in the back of our heads when we're doing this is we're working with an A minor scale essentially with a raised or major six. And part of that means that we're seeing a lot more F sharp um, in the scales than we would if we're playing in natural minor or Aeolian if you want to be uh, modally specific. So I want to start off... Um, I was playing a minor 7 flat 5 or a half diminished chord. We're going to have a look at this. An arpeggio based off that. It kind of looks like a straight A minor 1, 3, 5 arpeggio. I've just included an F sharp at the top and also on the third string. So you could almost argue that it's an A minor 6 slash F sharp. Anyway, I'm battling on. I'll get cracking. So the start of that was a hammer on from 9 to 12 on the 5th. Then I play 10 of the 4th, and then I want to play 9 to 11 on the 3rd. Okay, from there I want to play 10 of the 2nd string and then do a hammer-on from 8 to 12 on the 1st. Hopefully that's all making sense. Now I want to slide over. What I'm doing here is a C major, kind of a C major 7th, the idea with a flat 5, or just a C major with a flat 5. Or it might make a bit more sense over here. So we've gone from the half diminished to a C major 7 flat 5 arpeggio. Let's slow this down. I'm doing a pull off from 15 to 14, and then I play 12 of the first string. And then I'm going to play 13 of the second string and then do a slide from 12 to 11 on the third. Okay, from there I jump to 14 of the fourth and 15 of the fifth. Let's join uh, the half diminished F sharp arpeggio to the C flat 5 arpeggio. Okay, now what I did here is I just worked through... Um, an A minor arpeggio, but added in the sharp sixth, which was the F sharp, or if you want to talk or think about it another way, is the major sixth. So what I was doing is I was going A, C, E, and then I was adding in the F sharp. So I'm going 12, 15 on the fifth string, and then I'm playing 14 of the fourth and 11 of the third. And I do exactly the same thing up the octave. So what I'm doing here is I'm hammering from the A to the C, which is playing 14 of the 3rd to 17 of the 3rd. And then I play 17 of the 2nd string. And then I want to play 14 of the 1st. So all I'm doing is I'm going A, C, E, F sharp, which is essentially going 1, 3, 5, and then the, uh, the sharp 6. Or the major 6. At the end of that... It's almost a mine, like a very, very tiny dominant arpeggio, but anyway, I'm doing a pull off from 15 to 14 on the first string. I play 15 of the second, then I jump to 17 of the third, and then I want to hit the pinky on 17 of the first string. So all together. And at the end of that, end on an A minor with a sharp 6. So what I've got here is my thumb on uh, the 5th fret of the 6th string and then I've got a flat finger covering the uh, the 5th of the 3rd fret and the 4th strings and then I was just having my pinky hitting the F sharp on the 7th fret of the 2nd string. And the thumb as well, the thumb and the pointer are kind of working together to mute that A string. Let's try the whole idea one more time and then again even slower with some tabs. Time with some tabs. Mm -hmm. 
And that was my arpeggios in the Adorian mode lick. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. I'll catch you real soon.